تقدر تصك الباب عشان ما تسمعني Hello. Okay. So today we are unboxing the what's it called? I forgot what it's called. I'll tell you what it's called. Ah. Okay. So today we're unboxing the turntable kitchen pairings box. And this is not the most recent box. I'm not gonna lie to you. This was I don't want to tell you when this was, but it was one of them. Turntable Kitchen. So basically, Turntable Kitchen, um, the pairings box, they send you a little vinyl record. I'm saying little, I don't know if it's little. I do know because the one last time was little, but anyway, so they send you a vinyl record and then they pair it with a food item that matches it. And it's usually a spice or like a very specific spice. And I don't know if you saw the blog post, but last one, or the first one we got, was very hipster. And I know you're gonna say, Noor, this sounds like a hipster box anyway, so... And listen, yeah, it does. And it is pretty hipster. Um, you know, the music was this like, obscure... Like when we were traveling through the mountains and we stopped by this cabin, this song was playing in the background. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so we thought we'd send it to you. And then the spice was pickling spice. And the recipes that they gave me with it was like, oh, like salmon, but you have to cook it on a log or like a wooden plank, sis. And it's like pair it with ortho. And it's like, no. I have spaghetti. I can pair it with spaghetti if you want me to. Anyway, it's fine. The The vinyl was actually nice and the music was nice. Um, so that's fine. I still have the pickling spice. Never opened it, never used it. Don't like pickles. So I assume that I wouldn't like pickled versions of things. But to be honest, it's not the reason. I'm just lazy, right? I'm not gonna pickle anything. That's fine. Box number two. Turntable Kitchen. Let us begin. Should I open it and read what it is? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna open it. All right, so, cutesy patootsy box. I'm gonna open up this ribbon here. So, like the last box, it comes with a pouch that has the spice in it, um, and then three recipes that come with the spice. And then the vinyl record at the back, which is Babalaya. Calm down, we're, we're getting there. So, should we start with the vinyl or the spice? Who cares? I'm gonna read it off the paper. So, pouch. And the spice is organic poppy seeds. I love organic poppy seeds. That's fine. Um, that's the point of this box, right? Is that you want to explore your personal like culinary world and experiment a little bit and then experiment with the music. So these are the recipes. It's my WhatsApp on my desktop that I will now mute. Okay. So Three recipes that come with it. Um, oh, is this, is this right? There's no poppy seeds in this. Okay. Okay. Turntables Kitchen. Turntables Kitchen. Turntable Kitchen's Perfect Manhattan. A nice little cocktail recipe if you're into that. I thought that there would be poppy seeds in it. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting. My computer did not mute. And I need to mute this computer. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Oh no, now it's on and there's all this light on my face. Ah, okay. Cool. So, if you want a perfect Manhattan that doesn't have any poppy seeds in it, let me know. Okay, so that's cheating because that's supposed to be three recipes that come with the spice. 
grilled zucchini with poppy seeds and ricotta. Well, that sounds doable, unless I have to like cook it in a valley. Zucchini, it's virgin olive oil, kosher salt, basil leaves or basil leaves, whatever floats your boat. One cup of fresh ricotta, large flake sea salt for serving. For serving. Four tablespoons of poppy seeds. Toss the zucchini, la la la, preheat grill. Okay, this sounds doable. All right, and <clears throat> sage honey butter grilled chicken. Also sounds doable. Handful of cilantro. Handful of cilantro. No. No. Season chicken well, preheat grill. Actually, usable recipes, so that's nice. I don't know what poppy seeds taste like. Um, I assume it's just crunchy. And now, ooh, the vinyl record. Ooh. All right, sorry, it was upside down. Let's do that again. Ooh, can you even tell the difference that it was upside down? The Undercover Dream Lovers. All songs written by Matt Koenig, recorded in New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. And side one has two songs, and side two has two songs. Cool. I guess what's really cool is that Turntable Kitchen, I don't want to say they make these themselves, because I don't know what the terminology is. But then, yeah, like, like it, it says turntable kitchen all over this. And it's a tiny little, tiny baby, standard. Not standard, because the standard ones are bigger, but like standard color-wise. And now, let's quickly read through the story. Oh, this is a long video. <clears throat> this month's recipe collection highlights that beautiful transition period from summer to fall, when there's still time left to maybe grill outside during the day. Well, this applies now, so... Ish. And chill by the fire with a cocktail in hand by evening. Your Sunday dinner calls for our sage... Okay, this is just about the food, which I already read, so I, there's no story. So the music. The undercover dream lovers, solo project of Los Angeles-based songwriter Matt Koenig, spin the sort of dreamy, psychedelic vibes that can be both soothing and unsettling at the same time. Pretty sure this was the description for the last one because it sounds exactly like what the last one sounded like, music-wise. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, la, whatever dreamlike grooves produced primarily in Koenig's bedroom. Most of his tunes are surprisingly textural and atmospheric. This all sounds like the music from last month, which. I don't have the descriptions for on hand, but it'll be interesting if basically you're getting the same, same shit, different day music every month. But I guess what can you expect, right? And then they give you a digital version of the music, um, which I, I could include if you want to check it out. If you want to listen to, or we can listen to the music together and see how we feel about the music. Do you want to do, 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 do that? Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. All right. Did they seal this? Who seals? Oh, they didn't seal it. It comes out the side. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. All right. I'm going to flip this. Okay. So let's remove. Oh, great. While we're here. This was the last one. And yeah, I don't know what the point of showing you that is. Are people gonna get angry at the way I'm holding this vinyl record? Don't get angry, guys. Get even. Murder me in my sleep. All right. I'm just gonna get this bad boy out of here. And then let's put side A down. Right. Prep our little thingamajig. It says 33 RPM. 
So let's make sure, oops, I'm on 33, which I am. Okay. Is the electricity on? It is. Let's turn it on. See how we feel. Look, it's nice. I like this kind of music. I, you know, like playing in the background when I'm at a hipster coffee shop working on my book and things like that. No, really, like I like it as background music. Um, but it's like the cousin of last month's uh, vinyl record. So I wonder if it's just a collection of friends who all like round up and they're like, oh, I'm going to see this this week. Okay. So how are you? And it's like the same templates. I don't know. It's fine, again, if that's the kind of music you like. But yeah, they give you the impression that it's a subscription box for like discovery of new things. And I wonder if it's just a subscription box to discover the same thing over and over. That, that's what my cat thinks. And that's fair enough. So we'll see. I guess. Uh, the recipes are triable, so I can try the recipes. Um, maybe not the chicken one, because ch chicken's pretty shady. I don't want to murder anyone by accident. Um, but I'll try the zucchini ricotta one. I'll listen to the rest of the music, even though I don't think it'll change dramatically from what we just heard. But yeah, it's fine. <laughs>